Chief Chief of Council Affairs. My name is Catherine Bowyer and I'm the Dean of Newcastle and I acknowledge that this Cathedral Church stands on a Wabakal land, always was and always will be. I pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and pray that I with them may join in a spirit of reconciliation with the Cathedral community in caring for all that God has entrusted to us in the good gifts of creation. Today we give thanks for the life and witness of St Matthias. After the betrayal of Jesus by Judas Iscariot, the Apostles brought their number back to 12 by choosing Matthias to replace him. He was chosen by lot from amongst the disciples. The author of the Acts of the Apostles sees apostleship differently from Paul's interpretation of the role and seems to reflect the understanding of the Gospel of Luke. The number had to be restored so that they might sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. It was conditional that they had to have been with Jesus during his earthly ministry and to witness and witnesses to the resurrection. The point of being chosen by lot rather than by some democratic method indicated the election or choosing by God rather than by mortals. Today we also pray for the very Reverend Peter Grice, Dean of Geraldton, who tonight, Wednesday night, will be Episcopally ordained, consecrated a bishop in the Church of God for the Diocese of Central Queensland, also known as the Diocese of Rockhampton. We pray for Peter, we pray for his family, we pray for the diocese to which he goes, and we give thanks for his ministry as Dean of Geraldton, and we pray for the Cathedral community at Geraldton at this time. The service for Wednesday morning prayer can be found on page 401 of our prayer books. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 80 and our reading from Matthew's Gospel, Chapter 7. In the name of God, Creator, Redeemer and Sanctifier. Amen. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, A Song of God's Grace. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children, through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us, let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 80 on page 307 of the prayer book. Psalm 80. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, you that led Joseph like a flock, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine out in glory. Before Ephraim, Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up your power and come to save us. Restore us again, O Lord of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You have fed them with the bread of tears, and given them tears to drink in good measure. You have made us the victim of our neighbours, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Restore us again, O Lord of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, 
and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it in. You cleared the ground before it, and it struck root and filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow, and its boughs were like the boughs of the great cedars. It stretched out its branches to the sea, and its tender shoots to the great river. Why then have you broken down its walls, so that every passerby can pluck its fruit? The wild boar out of the woods roots it up, and the locusts from the wild places devour it. Turn to us again, O Lord of hosts. Look down from heaven and see. Bestow your care upon this vine, the stock which your own right hand has planted. As for those that burn it with fire and cut it down, let them perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your power rest on the man at your right hand, on that son of man whom you made so strong for yourself. And so we shall not turn back from you. Give us life and we will call upon your name. Restore us again, O Lord of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our reading is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 7, verses 15 to 22. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will know them by their fruits. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? and cast out demons in your name, and do many deeds of power in your name? Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you evildoers. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. For our second canticle this morning, we're going to say canticle, the canticle on page 426, a song of the word of the Lord. Page 426, a song of the word of the Lord. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. 
as the rain and the snow come down from above, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth, it will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who in the place of the traitor Judas chose your faithful servant Matthias to be one of to be of the number of the twelve, preserve your church from false apostles, and by the ministry of faithful pastors and teachers, keep us steadfast in your truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God of all faithfulness, in every age you have raised up holy men and women to reflect the light of Christ and to teach us the way of holiness. We thank you for those who have been teachers in the School of Christ. Give understanding to those who study the faith the Church has handed on, and clarity to those who communicate the Gospel in a changing world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for those who have been shepherds of your people. Give a pastoral heart to deacons, priests and bishops and the needful gifts to all your people in their ministry. We pray for Peter, our bishop, for Sonia and Charlie, our assistant bishops, for Arthur and Rod, our archdeacons. We pray this day for the parishes of Wyoming, Wyong, Beresfield Thornton and Brangston Greta Lockenbach for the chaplains to correctional centres and youth justice facilities and those who live in those places and the work of the Mothers Union and Anglican women. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for those who have been Christian rulers in the world and for those who carried the good news to lands where it had not been before. Give wisdom to all who have power and influence among the nations and establish God's sovereignty among people of every race. We pray for Scott Morrison, our Prime Minister, for Gladys Berejiklian, our Premier, for New Atali Nels, our Lord Mayor of this city of Newcastle. We pray for Tim Crackenthorpe and Sharon Claydon, who represent the people of Newcastle at state and federal level. Give wisdom to all who have power and influence among the nations. And as we have prayed, establish God's sovereignty among people of every race. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for those whom you have called to live in community. Establish mutual love among those drawn into fellowship in your service and bless with Christ's presence all the communities to which we relate. We pray for your servant Peter Grice to be ordained Bishop in the Church of God. We pray for the people of the Diocese of Central Queensland, Rockhampton, and for all that they proclaim in your name. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for those who have lived out their vocation in family life. Give your grace to all who nurture children 
and all who care for the aged, and enfold in your love all your sons and daughters. We pray especially this day for the First Nations people of the diocese, the Awabakal, Birapai, Darkenyul, Garigal, Gawigal, Gamilaroi, Wanarua and Waramai peoples. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for those who have brought wholeness through the medicine of the Gospel. Give skill to all who minister healing and reconciliation in your name, and comfort all who cry out to you from any sort of distress. We continue to pray for those who are ill with COVID-19. We give thanks for the skill and wisdom and gifts of those who have produced vaccines. We continue to pray for those who research for vaccines and for cures. We pray for those who are tasked with the administration of vaccines. We pray especially for the world community that we may ensure that all the people of the world may receive access to life-saving and life-preserving treatment. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for the noble army of martyrs, by the shedding of whose blood the Church has been enriched. Keep under your protection those who are persecuted for the cause of Christ, and acknowledge, we pray, those who have passed through death, trusting your promises. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you today for the witness of Matthias, for all who respond to your call in unusual and unlikely circumstances, for those who bring healing in places where there has been trauma. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Hasten, Lord, the day when people will come from east and west, from north and south, and sit at table in your kingdom, and we shall see your Son in his glory. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created, and by whose love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. <laughs>